How was that quarter pounder earlier? Tastes, <laughs> tastes like paper. I don't like quarter pounders with cheese, man. Do you really not? It's just cheap. It's two for six dollars. You don't like the Royale with cheese? <laughs> no. I don't mind no. it. It's all good. It's okay. What's good, everybody? Welcome to Short Kings Talk, episode 14. We are your hosts with the most. Sting Kelvin, what to do? Quarter pounder with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> What's your preferred McDonald's? Like, oh, you item. know what? They used to have this, like, ang- mushroom Swiss cheeseburger. That was pretty that good. That was really good. And then they discontinued it. Like, if you're going to say the McRib, I'd be like, no, oh, bro. I don't like that, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, guess what? We aren't talking about <laughs> food. <laughs> We're actually going to be talking about guilty pleasures, which I guess kind of falls under into it. Uh, So let's start off with um, the Wikipedia guilty pleasure definition, just uh, to inform everyone here. So a guilty pleasure is something such as a film, a television program, a piece of music, or an activity that one enjoys despite understanding that it is not generally held in high regard or is seen as unusual or weird. For example, a person may secretly like a film, but will admit that per- that particular film is poorly made and or generally seen as, quote unquote, not good. So, yeah. What are your thoughts on guilty pleasures? Do you feel like you have any guilty personal guilty pleasures? Like as a film or just anything? Just yeah, anything. Yeah, of course. I, I think everyone does. I you think so, it. too. But I also think like it's a little subjective where... I don't think a guilty pleasure can be defined as like, oh, just because it's bad and you enjoy it. Yeah. I think if you just indulge in something that can basically be deemed as a guilty pleasure. Well, like high regard, right? That's what the definition said. High regard. So okay. I, I feel like a lot, of sh- a lot of stuff that people do that are normal. Like, mm-hmm. like for example, I think people who listen to K-pop are kind of weird. <laughs> right? oh. so, so, okay. you know, in my opinion, right, that... You know, someone who does that, okay. it's, it's, you know, not, you know, not, not my cup of tea, right? Okay. So, but to them, it's normal. Okay. Right? Okay, I got you. Before we get into it, uh, I forgot to mention, if uh, you're supporting us, we appreciate y'all. But if you haven't yet, you know, please click that uh, subscribe button, as well as like this video, like all our videos, watch everything, and follow us on all social media platforms, at Short Kings Talk Everything. Links in the description below. And then you can follow us on our personal Instagrams. Mine is Sid the Chad, and Kelvin is Dr. Sixpack. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, We went ahead and just Googled some uh, generic guilty pleasures um, just to go through to see if uh, we can connect to it or if you can as well. And uh, Kelvin also asked his bae for some entries too, which... I'm telling you, bro, your bay went to the same website that I went to. No, no I think the website copy chat GPT. Mine was from 2021. Where's it? Whatever, man. That's, that's all. <laughs> so let's, let's get into it. So first on the list would be binge watching trashy reality TV shows. Are you into that? Jersey Shore. Are you really into that? Yeah, back then. Yeah, no, I don't watch it anymore. Okay. Yeah. I never really got into any reality. like trashy reality show. Yeah. No. Yeah, I I would like see it here and there, you know, like the uh the flavor of love back then. Mm-hmm. But any now, I think the ones now that everyone talks about is uh Love is Blind yeah. or um there's an island one, right? Love Island. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. That's another one too, right? What about the one you were on? No, I wasn't on. <laughs> no. So I I I got offered to audition to be on Love is Blind season 2. You fumbled it? I didn't want to do it. No, why not? Because, okay, this is my whole thing. Like, I remember watching, it's either The Bachelor or The Bachelorette with my homegirl. And basically, I was just, like, talking trash while I was watching the show. It's because I think you they cater to a certain, like, trope of person for both the male and the female. Where for me, let's say I'm on this, like, you know, Love is Blind reality show. I'll be like asking questions like, "Are you into anime? You like SpongeBob? You know, like some, <laughs> some weird stuff." Yeah. Where they're like, "Yo, I like long walks on the beach. You know, I like to get real intimate. And, you know, I'm the type of person who, like, if I know there's a connection, I'll hold your hand the whole time. You know, uh, like like spinning that wrist. I'll yeah. be like, I'm all that too, but I want to know the weird shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I want to know all that. But what's your guilty pleasure? <laughs> exactly. There you go. That's what I'm saying. Are you into any like trashy reality shows now? Do you no, watch any? I yeah, I watch Jersey Shores back when it was big. What 28, 2008, 2009? Yeah, Around like way, that era. Yeah. way back then. All right, next is uh, listening to cheesy pop songs or boy bands. I guess I 
like I'm guilty of this for sure because I I go through phases where I always I always go back to listen to boy bands or listening to 90s R and B is like my biggest shit. Yeah, like NSYNC and yeah, like yeah, I still slap it to this day. But you don't listen to like modern day ones, right? Like, uh, like who? Uh, I don't even know. I think Harry Styles is popping right now. What was that? One Direction? Even One that, di- that's way back though. That's, yeah. yeah, that's like ten years ago. I don't go back to One Direction, but when they were around, I thought some of their songs were cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't hating on. I think two or three songs were written by Ed Sheeran, so oh, okay. that was fine. It's like Jonas Brothers. That's old. Though. Jonas Brothers. Hey, bro. Jonas Brothers. Is like they have a concert I, tomorrow. I don't listen to their <laughs> stuff now, yeah. but back then, yeah. you know, I you know, burning up. That's yeah. that's classic. Or year three thousand, dude. <laughs> the classics, man. Classics. What about you? Do you cheesy yeah. pop songs, boy bands? You know, like nineties. Like that, dude. Like, insane. but do you go back to it? Like sometimes when I'm like drunk and we're doing karaoke, <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. Yeah. You never like in the Slap car, no. just yeah, no. never. No. Wow. Okay, okay. Uh, what's next? What's next just on the list? Eating an tub of tub of, entire tub of ice cream in one sitting. I do not do that. That's not me, but I know people yeah, that no. are like this. Yeah. I'm not, which I'm not hating. You know, if I have a sweet tooth, but if ice cream is your preferred sweets, like you know, that's fine. I'm more of a pastries person. Mm, yeah. It's more substance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very rare for me to like crave ice cream or soft serve. Yeah. Like sometimes, you know, sometimes I'll feel it, but most times, no, nah, not really. The, the other thing is like, can you imagine eating like an entire tub of ice cream and getting a brain freeze? <laughs> like at the end or during? No, like during, like, because you gotta be like, you, you don't eat. press your tongue to the top of your roof whenever you get a brain freeze. That's, freeze. That doesn't work that well. No, it works for me. Does it? Yeah. Maybe you're not pressing that hard Maybe enough. Maybe I don't have a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Some mouth freezing in there. Maybe. 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 All right. What about uh, reading gossip magazines or websites? Like basically, like looking into gossip, like TMZ. I, yeah. Like, do you uh, you get into it? Uh, yeah. I see. You know, it'll pop up on my feed. But I don't I don't really invest to, into it, you know. What about this? Like uh, another take on it, just like celebrity gossip. Do you follow celebrity gossip? I don't. Not really. The, the, I don't the really closest care. thing is the whole Kanye saga this year. That's oh. the closest thing to celebrity gossip. What him being naked on a boat in Italy? Oh, that crack. <laughs> 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 he was getting head, right? Something like that. So yeah, there was but, a photo, but. Yeah, yeah. Like I'd be mad at paparazzi, you know. That's yeah. their fault. Like, yeah. cause they're on a boat, like far away. Yeah, dude, they're just trying to <laughs> do their new marriage stuff, right? Exactly. Yeah. Honey, they're trying to, trying to consummate, yeah, it's all good. right? It's all good. Like, if I was able to rent a yacht with me and my future boo, and we we're out in the waters, like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm gonna try that. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's game. <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Cause I would think that you know you're secluded. Yeah. No one's watching you. Yeah. You know, I ain't trying to get like my ass out of you know just showing up <laughs> over there. This next one, I'm going to skip one because uh, I want you to talk about this. Stalking people on social media. I don't do that. Shut the fuck <laughs> up, dude. Like, shut up, dude. Come on. I, I would say, like, I'm guilty of doing that. You know, sometimes if I see sometimes if I see a girl that I think is cute on the dating apps when I was on it and uh, they have their Instagram handle, I'll go on and just yeah. peek through, just see, see what's up. See, if, like, you know, what else. Are they into, you know, what, like, provide more texture to the person? So they're kind of off topic. You know, um, there's people who play, like, Google Maps. Have you seen that? Like, what do you mean? So, like, there's, like, there's, like, a game. I don't know what it's called. But, like, I always see on IG where you get a picture. Oh, right? and then you try to find you it. you try to find it on Google Maps. Dude, I think those are cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So f- for me, that's what social media stalking is. So it's, like, a challenge for me to see if I could find that person based on that picture. So oh. I can find them. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually do that like because I like maliciously or want to. No, obviously yeah, 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 yeah. not. But, but then you know, like it's a game. A lot, yeah. a lot of times for us, like you know, like we think a girl is cute, so yeah. you just like peek into her yeah. Instagram or try to find yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, like maybe she races cars and stuff. You know exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Go off, <In> Japan, <laughs> <laughs> and LA, <laughs> yeah, and LA. <laughs> yeah, I think you yeah. know. It's cool. I think it's fine. You know, I know a lot of people who do like you know sometimes check in on. Uh, like guys' Instagrams and girls' Instagrams. Uh-huh. I think that's perfectly fine. Yeah, you know, fine. Uh, a lot of people are into influencers too, so they'll yeah. follow. Yeah. So as long as you don't follow porn stars, right? No, that's facts. The yeah, that's, now. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's crazy. It's crazy when uh, you know you go into a porn star's Instagram, you see who follows. I'm like, like so your homies. Nah. I'm like, damn. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, well, okay, yo. okay. Let's let's go a little deeper into this detail. Um, what about a uh, social media? Stalk, uh, stalking or checking up on your ex 
You ever done that? I think it's valid. You want to see how how low their life has gone? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think <laughs> oh, it's no, that no, way, no. dude. I'm not. You want to see what what they're doing nowadays? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm always curious. You know, it's like, oh, what they're up to. But you, know? You, you know, like a like a pro tip. You want to know? Really want to know what they're up to? Check their Venmo. <laughs> So, oh, I saw you ate some sushi. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Damn. I guess. I guess. I guess. All right. What about watching cheesy romantic comedies, rom coms? You ever get into those? Mm, some Adam Sandler ones, maybe. What, like 50 First Dates? <laughs> <laughs> what, she gets hit what, in the what head, about, dog? What about non comedies? I don't watch romance movies at all. Oh, like, so. Any, like j- Nicholas Spark kind of. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm not into that stuff. But it's all about the feeling. Not too That's what all my homegirls say. Because I I complain about it. I'm like yo, like so all these boring. have the same storyline. Like, the guy oh, leaves. It's the company. feeling. <laughs> you know, it's the magic. Yeah. I'm like uh, nah 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 nah. So I don't do that. But but do you do you watch like any other like movies like indulge? That's not a rom com. Yeah. Just comedies. Yeah. Oh, just any comedies. Yeah, do you ever just like pop one on and just like watch it? Yeah, like the other guys. I watch that one a lot. Really? Yeah, <laughs> I love that movie. Dude. <laughs> Damn, he just got. I'm a peacock. You gotta let me fly. <laughs> that whole monologue. When peacock so fly. About like the lion going into a school <laughs> tuna. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. Oh, uh, what's the? Uh, oh, the, the the tuna. Yeah. The, the school, yeah now tuna. we got the taste of lion meat, <laughs> and we like it. Yeah. I like it. It's like, it's it's like, like how well, how is tuna going to get in the line? We will develop breathing apparatus yeah. with kelp. <laughs> it's like one of the dumbest movies because they spent like what five minutes building up the Rock and Samuel Jackson, and then <laughs> they just freaking die. I like how like I Aim like how the yeah, and then Mark Wahlberg's all like, there wasn't even an awning over there. <laughs> That was pretty good. So I like really over the top, like really dumb yeah. movies like that. Yeah, I admit that. Okay, for sure. All right, what about ordering takeout instead of cooking? How is that a guilty pleasure? That, that's why. Maybe I mean. like, you know, you're a little lazy to cook your meal. And, you know, at least for us, you know, it's very yeah. difficult. You know, we understand that it's difficult yeah, it's to though. eat healthy yeah. and stay on track and stay consistent. So like the automatic was to just buy food out. Mm. Yeah, you never do that? I do that sometimes. No, no I do that all the time. It's what do you like, use to buy? McDonald's? No, I mean, just like, like for example, like tonight, like when we leave here, it's kind of late to cook. I'll mm-hmm. just pick something up on the way home. McDonald's? Probably like Yoshinoya. <laughs> it's the only thing open at like 1130. Oh, that's yeah. true. I like that's their true. yakudan. Like, yeah. yeah some Chipotle's are open kind of late. Do they? Past yeah. 10? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Some, yeah. some, maybe like yeah. 1030. You know, I'm not, I'm not pushing the, Man, the I, don't, I hate being the last guy at the establishment. You know, they're cleaning up and you yeah. walk in and you're like, Hey, are you guys still open? The only time do that. that's cool to do is Panda. Because oh, they lace yeah, yeah. you up. They're like, yo, if yeah. you're the last person, like, yo. Yeah, yeah. I did that one time, like, a, a couple months ago. And then the guy was all like, you're not eating here, right? You're taking it to go? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, cool. Because we're, we're leaving. Well, yeah, yeah. And he just took all the orange chicken and just, like, oh, put damn, it on the spot. I'm like, the homie. <laughs> it's like, hey, if I could tip you. I won't because it's Panda Express, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the feeling, the feeling, the, the feeling, the feeling. Uh, I'm going to skip some of these. Let's see. Oh, okay. There's a singing loudly and I guess in parentheses and badly in the shower. The one I found online was also in the car, mm. right? Do you sing in the car or in the shower or no. anytime? No. You don't sing at all? No. Dude, my car is my stage. <laughs> That's my number one booth, bro. Well, someone, some of us don't have voice lessons. So? <laughs> so? You can still be vibing, like, what about, like, a rap song? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't do it on the reg, though. Really? I don't, I also You don't be, like, lot, you well, don't be uh, slapping some 21 Savage and be like, gang, shit, that's all I'm on. I slap get, get, podcasts, get. bro, when I can be. Yeah, so, like, recite the word. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I slap, you know what I slap? Short King's Talk. Oh, I'm hey, like, subscribe. Every day. <laughs> Every day, really? You like replay episodes? I, I, you know, what? I play it uh, Wednesday mornings. Okay, so when it drops, yeah, so when it drops. drops, yeah. There you go. Well, I don't because I technically watch it like a hundred <laughs> times, <laughs> and then I'm done. I'm like, all right, it's, it's free for everyone. The only thing I do is like I'll just go on our YouTube link just to check image quality, and then just like first couple minutes, I'm like, all right, bye. Yeah, really? You know, you never like you know just rap the song in the car. Not in a while. I've been so in the car, podcasts. like you mostly listen to podcasts. You yeah. don't really listen to music. No. Really. Podcasts, yeah. Or audiobooks. I'm trying to really? get through books. Okay, let me let me ask this. So like you know, 
you know how everyone's like either at the club or wherever and then a song that you're familiar with comes on yeah. and then you sing along to it right uh, how does that go with edm <laughs> <laughs> there's there's lyrics no dude no yeah it depends the, what you listen to i don't just listen to all dubstep bro. i feel like a lot of times like they just remix a song and then you can make it into an edm song mm. bro like okay look, look give me one song right now i can make it into an edm song <laughs> right now take you down take oh shit uh so how how does it go uh it ain't my first time, baby girl. We can't pretend the bump and grind, girl. Tonight will never end. Swerve. What? 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 That shit was hard, right? <laughs> no, that's what I noticed though. That's not, like it's always like it's always a build up, and then you anticipate it so that you get more hype. You're like, oh, the drop is about to come, <laughs> and then uh, and then it drops, and you go, and then there's always some like random break. That's the, yeah. <laughs> like it says something, and then and then the drop comes back again. And you're like, oh yeah. So so here's the thing. The thing the stuff I listen to at festivals is uh-huh. different from. They're, so some DJs they release songs, right? Yeah, yeah. And what they play on stage is completely different. They're mixing it live, mm-hmm. so that's like more of the you know when you're party. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. like you know they have regular songs. With no, no, I, I totally understand yeah, yeah. that because like uh, I've heard like friends listen to like the DJs like yeah. that they like, and it's like more mellow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I can I can vibe with that. No, yeah. I'm just <laughs> I'm just being a hater. <laughs> that's really it. All right. Um, this is a big one, which uh, pertains to both of us, but uh. Retail therapy <laughs> is a big guilty pleasure. It is. Yeah. And you can't deny it. <laughs> I don't buy shit, dude. Shut up. <laughs> I don't buy it. Why not, you as much, d- not as much as you. Well, yeah. Like, because I'm a crippling shopaholic. <laughs> yeah. That's facts. I need I need to stop. I'm, I'm trying yeah. to stop this month just uh, just for Japan next month. Is there like a shopaholic anonymous, you think? I hope so. <laughs> it's like, I'm Sid. Hi, Sid. And, uh... I spent uh, X amount <laughs> in the four digits <laughs> in one month in clothes. <laughs> oh. You're like the only guy there next to a bunch of like white girls with daddy money. <laughs> oh, I know. It's like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, I just got my dad's <laughs> plan of black card. You ever buy a gold lighter? No, I wish. I wish. I wish I was at that bracket. level. I'm not there. Not there. I'm not there. One day. <laughs> one day. One day. Dude, we have a friend. Yeah, I hope you're listening too. <laughs> like his lighter is the same carat of gold as of gold as uh this chain. Oh my chain's chain's not even popping. There you go. Same thing. Four, and, 14 and what, carat. And what do you say? Oh, it's only 14k. I know that dude. That shot me in <laughs> the that heart. That, that, that like that legitimately hurt. <laughs> Knocked the wind out. You're like, oh yeah. I was like, oh, dang, it's all I could afford. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I made this out of my tears. <laughs> That's a SpongeBob reference. Right. This is why I know a lot of kids used to do this, like okay. eating eating chocolate or candy for breakfast. I can't do that, dude. I've done it, but then I've never like consistently did it. I think I I've never it, been like you know. I like, did it once after like Halloween when you went trick or treating. Yeah. yeah, but you know how like if you watch cartoons as a kid, like that's like every oh, character's no. dream, right? Like, oh, just candy, like fairly odd parents. Oh like, no, nah. I was like, bro, I, a candy only die. I would probably want to kill myself. Like, yeah. It's either it's either you know just do cereal or do like Eggo waffles or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you know what, hot pockets, hot pockets is fire. Yeah. Would you rather have like a savory? If you could only eat one flavor, right? Savory or sweet for the mm-hmm. rest of your life? Oh, I honestly would say sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Like I have even a like big your sweet meal, too. like for your like main yeah. dinner and stuff. Yeah. Just be like popping teriyaki yeah. chicken all day. No, I'd be popping like chocolate chip cookies like all if chocolate chip cookies can provide like every single micronutrient protein and carbs that i need in like my entire life i would only eat chocolate chip cookies damn dude okay that's that's my dedication dude look it up i made you google it dude everyone who's watching or listening right now google the cookie monster's real name and then come back to me about it there you go there you go Man. All right, let's move on. Let's like let's see any other options that we have. Like this list. Watching is... cat videos. No, no. I, I watch random videos, sure, yeah. but I don't know. Oh, memes for hours. 
Oh yeah, that's that's me right there. Guilty, guilty pleasure. Yeah. On average, like how on a weekly basis, how many hours do you think you spend just looking at memes? Oh dude, well that's easy to check because I only oh yeah, use there's Instagram. like app, app trackers, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Screen time, screen time. All right, let's pull it up for so for IG. Mine's like super low. Every week I spend 16 hours on Instagram. Dude, that's crazy. I know. You know, for mine, like a week on IG is like two to three. Yeah. Because I don't really scroll through my timeline as much. And plus, I'm on YouTube way more. Oh, uh, see, IG is the only thing I use. Oh, okay. That's fine. So I guess for me, YouTube is my guilty pleasure, mm. right? Cool. Let me, let's uh, deviate real quick from this uh, chat GPT list and online list is, uh, can you think of any personal guilty pleasures that you have you know, off the bat, like that you you think you have yeah sleep that's not <laughs> <laughs> for me that's a guilty pleasure <laughs> i don't sleep because money own, don't sleep <laughs> would you lack of money sleep sometimes <laughs> money sleeps some, sometimes uh honestly it's just like not doing anything that's my guilty pleasure like sometimes oh. on some days i just sit do, there and I'm, just, I'm like i don't want to do anything yeah you just feel that serenity of yeah. just just staring literally sometimes i would, oh this is a big one um just scrolling through previews on Netflix and not watch anything. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I'm just like, just, just like, put your cursor yeah, over it. Exactly. I'm just like, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> like, I got the premise. Yeah. Like, and move I'm, on. I'm like, I don't want to commit to anything. <laughs> Same here. Yeah. Like, you, you think of it as like an hour and a half, like, oh, man. Oh, and it's a whole series, like, oh. But you spend an hour doing that. <laughs> that you could have spent <laughs> yeah. just watching an episode. Exactly. I think it's more of just picking yeah. the one thing. The okay, one, that's interesting. The one video. Yeah, the one. <laughs> I guess so. For me, I have one like guilty pleasure. Since I have a sweet tooth, this is like a really big guilty pleasure of mine. It's frosting. <laughs> frosting. I love frosting, bro. <laughs> you just like you just eat you just eat that shit. I like from like cupcakes. I'm, I'm very like a like a would you like to have cake with your frosting type. Oh man. Yeah. Well, whipped cream. Yeah. Uh, it's all right. I like. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan. Mm. You know. Are, are you one of those types that uh, if you smell whipped cream that makes you gag or something? No. no. There's like some people yeah. that are like that, yeah. That they can't, ha- uh, like, they don't like the texture and the smell of whipped cream. I guess it's kind of weird. It's a weird thing. It's yeah. kind of airy. Right? Yeah, 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 exactly. No, I love frosting, dude. Are you a, I know some people that, well, actually, my client just told me today that she's a texture eater. I never knew that was such a thing. Oh. Like some textures make her, like mashed potato makes her want to gag. Interesting. Yeah. She's like anything creamy makes her want to throw up. Whoa. And I was like, I'm more of a taste. Uh, I'm a taste know, and eater. texture because yeah. sometimes like texture. textures are a little weird, but no, nah, I don't really, I don't mind it. I will say though, I am like greatly intimidated by durian because it, like it, it looks like an oh. armadillo. Have you had durian? No. You're Filipino. How I know. <laughs> I, trust me. That's no, crazy. like. When are, what about when jackfruit? The, Have you had jackfruit? Yeah, of course. So similar in texture then. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, I've never had durian. How would I know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the the only thing that I, I ever gagged on when I ate it was squid sashimi. Really? It's, was it the live squid? Yeah, yeah. So when I ate it, I was like... It, really? It felt like it was expanding. It, oh. it felt like Elmer's glue. Oh, interesting. Because I've had Elmer's glue before when I was a kid. You were one of those kids? <laughs> Weirdo, bro. <laughs> You need help. <laughs> Were you one of the kids who ate your boogers? I, I no, I hate that. Yeah, I, I think I think boogers in general are so gross. Uh, yeah, I've seen like this. Yeah. There's always one kid, you know, yeah. who's like picking his nose and yeah. right up the... Sh- yeah. By the way, watch episode 13 because that's on our things that grinds our gears, our yeah. pet peeves. One of my pet peeves, it's weird that I never mentioned, it's like I don't like blowing my nose in a tissue because I feel like it's the same exact reason on why I don't like septum piercings. <laughs> it's a... Uh, I feel like you can't properly like wipe out. There's always going to be some type of residuals. Y- yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'd rather just do a snot rocket in the shower. Oh, so you clean it that way. Yeah. So oh, I just like I, yeah. Boom. Like yeah. yeah. And I don't get to touch the boogers at all. It's all good. A, okay. Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> all right. Let's go back to the list. <laughs> uh, let's see. Spending hours on video games. Do not do that. I'm not a gamer either. Yeah, I've never really been. Just, You've never been a gamer at any point in your life. I like the I like the idea of gaming. I don't like com, committing. Well, like to just it. not going anywhere. So like <laughs> I I tried for the longest time to get a PS5 back when it was impossible. Uh huh. I got it right, and then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna buy like 15 games. Right. I don't think I ever played more than 30 minutes on any of the games. Really? Yeah. Oh. Even the Miles Morales Spider Man or whatever. Right. Never. Yeah. I uh, I just played my friend's uh, Spider Man just so I can yeah. swing around. 
But it's like, like a, just cool. the idea of committing over 20 hours to... I think I'm the same. It's just too much, man. I'm more of an outdoorsy person. I'd rather be out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and not, not, not implying that, you know, I'm trying to go on hikes every weekend, but, you know, I like to skate. So mm. I'd rather just be yeah, out. Course. I'm not good at staying still. Oh, I see. That's my biggest thing. Yeah. That's why I can never work a work from home job. Uh, do you think you do that? Work from home? Yeah. Just, yeah. Sounds chill as hell. Is that your dream? Not. It's not my dream. I wouldn't mind it. Sounds like your like dream. If, I, if I'm like a YouTube software dev getting uh-huh. paid with like 500k a year, <laughs> just sit uh, there. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, if you're a yeah. streamer like that. Yeah. I guess so. I guess well, Would so. you be a streamer? I think that that job I can't do. Uh, Like just Tyson Nat? Like, no, nah, just like a video game streamer where you- I don't play it, games. Well, like just- interacting with the audience stuck in your room all day oh and just get like five hundred dollars out of nowhere Every, yeah let's say you make like half a million a year what you do oh just sitting there if, it, if that guarantees half a million like yeah but like you're literally live streaming like 18 hours a day so you get like what six hours or so oh really yeah. is that really how it is yeah oh no no right yeah unless i could allocate time like it, i treat it like a nine to five so i'll work like six to eight hours you know yeah yeah I'm like, all right that's cool that's cool Oh, this is, I don't think this pertains to us at all, but taking too, too many selfies. Nah. You don't take any selfies? I don't, take any I don't consider my photos selfies because yeah. I think the selfie involves you actually holding the phone and then yeah. taking the photo. I, I prop the phone <laughs> and then take a photo of myself. It's not a selfie. It's more like a girl thing, right? Yeah, for That's sure. That's all I do. I've called out like two homegirls before where they're, they're like, oh, no, no, I'm kind of, I'm kind of shy. I'm like, oh, yeah, pull up your photo album. Yeah. Let me see how many selfies you got. Then, then. Boom, hell with <laughs> selfie. I'm like, exactly. You can't, <laughs> you can't be saying this. Uh, this is funny. Uh, eating fast food in secret. We know people like this. You know who you are. <laughs> you know who you are. These are these are like very A lot genetic. Of these aren't. I feel like you know, it's, it's, like like you mentioned, right? It's so subjective. What exactly acceptable is. A lot of it's just just normal to me. You know, like yeah, using a whole day to sleep in. I do that sometimes. Oh, I don't read, do that. okay. So I, I this hate one, doing this that. one I know some people reading fan fiction. I know people uh, who read like Harry Potter fan fiction. Oh, I don't know anyone personally, but I know that there's a big world for fan fiction yeah. for any for like, anything, genre, right? yeah, yeah, any yeah. media. No, nah. do you know anyone like, personally? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever gotten into it? No. I think oh. it's, it's it's not canon, right? So for me, it's just like it does. Oh, it's, it's like, so if it's not like, canon, then I don't really it's whatever. Crap, yeah. Oh, really? What if it's a very compelling story? I still don't give a crap. It didn't happen. Oh, it's like Dragon Ball GT. It's not him. Have you ever uh, skipped work or exercise uh, for a lazy day? Skip work or exercise? Yeah. What if it's the same? Yeah. <laughs> no, work is exercise. <laughs> it's the same thing for me. Really? Yeah. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, because you have to. Yeah, because I'm. Do, do yeah. I do I skip? I mean, not intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> I not sometimes I miss work. <laughs> have you ever like skipped a, a, a workout just to be like? Yeah, no, you know, no, because I'm cheating myself. Oh, all right. I have more drive than a lot of people. So, well, no, I don't know about a yeah. lot, but that was me today. Yeah. I skipped my workout today, so. <laughs> which is I think is valid. You know, it's fine. It's Sometimes fine. it's fine. Too I was also it. carless but, until hey, you know like you hit, a couple hours. You hit a PR yesterday. You deserve it. I guess. Yeah. Like it's just I don't know. I feel like it's like a normal day at this point. It's all good. Dude, I ripped my thumb. I didn't realize until after when I washed my hands. Dude, like it burns. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. today or yesterday. Yesterday when uh, I washed my hands. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, eating junk food is any type of uh, guilty pleasure. So, uh, do you indulge in any junk food? Chips. I could, I could kill a whole bag of chips. Are you a big chips person? Yeah. Once it's open, it's gone. All right. Three, three uh, favorite chips. Pringles. Like all of them? Uh, original, actually. Okay, like original. original Pringles. Uh, the kettle chips. Okay. And then probably... Barbecue Lays. Barbecue Lays is classic. Yeah. I would put that in my top three. Really? I don't know if it's very Filipino in me, but salt and vinegar is very up there. Salt and vinegar is good. But again, the volume, I eat the whole bag, right? So I can eat by, the whole bag too. By one quarter of the way, my I'm dying from the vinegar. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. Do you feel the guilt? No, I don't feel guilty about eating. Like the whole bag of chips? No. no or not. you just feel like the, ooh. I feel, I feel like I wasted calories. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's probably true. it. But it's not really guilt. It's just like, oh, I could have ate something more filling, I guess. That's true. That's true. But, but hey, chips yeah, you is know good. what? We always stop by road trips to Vegas. Mm-hmm. Just get hella chips and then just eat it. It's fine. Yeah. What's your go-to travel snacks? Beef jerky. Okay. Chips and powdered donuts. Powdered donuts. Yeah. Oh, that's a guilty pleasure. Yeah. I like what? this. 
Okay. The Krispy Kreme ones. Okay. Yeah. I'm not actually a fan of powdered donuts. No. Yeah. Yeah. Because it. Have a sweet tooth. You I like do, those? but then I feel like every time I bite into one, there's always like a residual somewhere in my mouth. Yeah. Or it, it feels like here. I did yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when you get pulled over, you're like, "What are you talking about, officer?" <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> is the donut? Like, <laughs> and I act like all yeah, like, "Oh, yeah, what are you sugar, talking yeah. about, man?" <laughs> it's just sugar, man. That's true. I do get it. Like, that's a for sure guilty feeling. I I love the sugar rush. You know, if if it wasn't such a health concern, dude, like I drink soda a lot. <laughs> you do you drink di- um the diet one? Not diet. No, I drink diet coke zero, only coke when uh I'm more of a diet coke over coke zero, but I'm Coca Cola all in general. Yeah, I don't like right? Pepsi, bro. I hate Pepsi. Like you know, the Costco food court, they're like, do you want to drink? I was like, no, it's Pepsi. Yeah, yeah. I'm the same. I'm, I, I treat Coke and Pepsi like Crips and Bloods. Yeah. Yeah. It just tastes weird to me. It I feel tastes, like you're very one or the other. It tastes Everyone's false. Everyone's just one. Yeah, exactly. Pepsi sucks. Pepsi <laughs> I don't suck. care. Pepsi does hey, suck. but Coca-Cola. What's up? <laughs> I've been to the world of Coca-Cola in Atlanta. That was like my Disneyland. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. I saw the vault where they kept the formula. <laughs> the formula. <laughs> <laughs> there's only one of two in the world and i saw one <laughs> technically used to be cocaine it, it yeah. did it did no it used to be cocaine extract i yeah. forgot what the actual like science was but it was like cocaine extract but it had a good amount that if you synthesize it then you can get the cocaine back yeah oh whatever it's all good yeah but uh yeah i only order diet coke whenever i eat out okay that's it so i never buy it for my own home oh uh, yeah yeah why do you buy like dude, i go through like eight cans a day really of coke zero <laughs> here at work? No, when I get home. That's the what? only thing I drink at home. <laughs> <laughs> you don't drink water? No. Really? Yeah. Oh. I only drink water at home. I always have like five, six uh, Costco packs on, on deck. No way. Yeah. That's a huge guilty pleasure, yeah. dude. I just drink. I, I don't like just water. <laughs> <laughs> you like that aspartame? But here, though, like I drink hella water. Yeah, that's but, true. But So you like that aspartame? I do. To give it to me, yeah. but like, are you one of those? So, I have like two friends that kind of hate me for choosing Diet Coke over Coke Zero. Like, do you think Diet I, Coke is just watered down? No, nah, it has it? a distinct taste to it. Yeah, I, I used to enjoy it, and then Coke Zero came out. Yeah, because that's like, Coke, yeah. like, just without you know, which sugar. Coke I don't like the Mexican Coke. Really, you really don't weird. like the it's real good. cane sugar, bro? Yeah, that, I don't like the sugar cane. So, really? Oh, okay, yeah, because you don't have a sweet Yeah, tooth. I don't, it's oh. just too much, man, bro. You're missing yeah. out on life, man. Yeah. This is, okay, I don't know if they have this at Costco, but I know, like, Target, CVS have it. For some reason, Vons doesn't have it. But, dude, Cherry Coke Zero. I, I tried that the other day. You didn't like it's it? disgusting. No way. It's disgusting, dude. I think that's so fire. Is it? Yeah, I like it. It tastes like medicine, dog. Sometimes medicine can be good. Do you remember <laughs> <No>. Diamond Tap? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember Lean? <laughs> Dude, Dimatap was basically lean. Dude, oh my god, was Dimatap lean? All right, let's let's ask uh, let's ask let's ask like the listeners and the watchers. Like, okay, what do you think is a child version of lean? Is it Dimatap or Robitussin? It's Robitussin for sure, dude. She got you fucked up. I think Diamond Tap, dude. Di- I think, dude, Robitussin was so gross to me, but I thought Diamond Tap like tasted good. so good. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, I feel like I could have more than the recommended uh, amount. <laughs> Dang, okay. All right, let's see what else is in this list. That's like actually not... Okay, let's look for stuff that's not of uh, the regular. Like eating peanut butter from the jar. I do that. Do you Just really? Just for the protein, yeah. I don't so, really eat peanut butter that much in I general. I miss peanut butter. It's too much fat for me. Day, day, daydreaming or fantasizing often. <laughs> daydreaming or fantasizing, or fantasizing oh. often. Is that a guilty pleasure? I feel like that's just life, dude. It's like, I, I wish- guess. Yeah, I think that's just like, yeah, dude. you just think about stuff. It's like, I wish I was at a cell phone repair shop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think about like, a lot of times I just think about whatever else I'm interested in. Like if yeah. I, I, I think about skating almost all the time. Yeah. So I just think about a trick that I'm like trying to try and how not to eat shit. That's all I think yeah, about. Yeah, I mean, daydreaming is just normal. Yeah, know? right? Yeah, just like. Like, I wonder what's like a abnormal daydreaming. Like, what if you're just, like, hell, like, those dudes are, like, hella thirsty? Oh. Oh, yeah. dude, what if you're one of those dudes, like, I mean, I, I wish I could shoot everyone in this school right now or something like that. That's dark. That, that, <laughs> that's just dark, bro. That's dark. Oh, okay. Like a weed version. I wish I had a death note. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. All right. Dude, I found another A 40 cal death note. <laughs> a 40? Oh. <laughs> oh, 
wow <laughs> oh man wow yeah like these are all very like generic yeah, guilty you know, like, pleasures go, okay how's going to a karaoke bar a guilty pleasure you know it's, that's yeah, just if you like life. to sing yeah if you like to sing you like to hang out with friends oh eating raw cookie dough i think that's gross dude that's not even sanitary there's uncooked eggs it depends Salmonella. i think like right. i used to like it a lot as a kid but now i think the only time i like to eat cookie dough is when i make it oh yeah, that's it. You know what's what's a weird thing I do eat raw? You know those um, fish? No, those pre um, pre assembled Cinnabon in a tube. In a tube? Yeah, like have you seen those? Oh, the Pillsbury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's I, no I, you eat, I, that, I eat that raw, that. <laughs> bro. Yeah. You you need help. That's that's the only sweet I like. And I eat it raw, dude. I just pop that bitch open. I'm like, <laughs> bro. What the hell, dude? I think that's worse than cookie dough. <laughs> I don't know. I just say it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Yeah. But what about the, what do you do with the icing? Hmm? Do you d- dip it raw in the no, icing? No, I just fucking I just <laughs> spoon and just bite. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, that hell reminds me. Do you uh, do you remember the episode of Family Guy where uh, I guess um, uh, Cookie Monster was in rehab? Oh, he's and like, oh, <laughs> I need that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's cooking cookies on the yeah, spoon. spoon. Yeah. I was like, oh, that actually yeah. works. <laughs> that's hello. That's crazy. I know. Do you, okay, so whenever you uh, open um, a container of Pillsbury, yeah. do you, do you anticipate the pop? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Whenever like, you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, uh, you know, you know what's the smart way? You just knock it on your countertop and it explodes. Like without peeling the. Yeah, thing? you just like literally. And then oh, it pops up. Heck. I learned that. Yeah, because because uh, otherwise you're like, oh. yeah, that, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but the thing is like it's very underwhelming. Like that pops just like, a, yeah, and yeah. then you're just like, like all right, <laughs> all right, cool. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, this one. Listening to holiday music. Oh, this people like bump Mariah Carey. All I want for Christmas is you year round. Okay, that's Filipinos now. Yeah, yeah. So I was about if to say. you don't know about Filipinos, especially the ones in the Philippines. Uh, they celebrate Christmas really early. So it's beginning of September and they're already setting up their decorations. Damn. So they're immediately it's, slapping. It's Halloween big yeah. there. Did they skip over that? Give me a second. Sorry. Uh, say it again? Halloween. Philippines. What is about it? Big? it? Is it big there? Uh, I do not know. I need to ask my cousins. Or is it, are they more like a Dia de los Muertos kind of? I don't think so. No, no. We don't have that, uh, that thing. Okay. That's what I'm aware of. Maybe they do uh, do Halloween that I'm not aware of. I know, like, Japan and, and Korea are they, big on Halloween. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh. You don't know about that, like, incident that happened last year in Korea? Yeah. yeah like, apparently, uh, there's, like, this one city in Korea that uh, does, like, a really big Halloween event. Okay. And I guess hell of people were jam-packed at this one train station that they got toppled over and mm. people actually passed. Damn. Yeah. Oh, that'll be interesting to see because we're there right around halloween time right before yeah but I, I ain't trying to be around there for halloween i thought they celebrated like week they had they had celebrated the week or ish before do you think so i don't know I'm trying to see some big never mind <laughs> <laughs> big fish big fish big yes. fish big tuna <laughs> Dude. big tuna we want the nice tuna <laughs> this is an interesting one because uh i guess this is technically a, a a guilty pleasure i did this a lot as a teen and then sometimes when it comes around, like, I'll do it still. Uh, pimple popping. Oh, yeah. There's a whole channel dedicated. Dr. Pimple Popper. You seen that? About how bad it is or something? Or? Dude, it's always the cystic ones that just keep squirting. No, no, no. It's I hate gross. those. I, like, out of all, like, videos I've seen, I hate pimple those popping, ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, cysts and all that. Hate like, those. They, you just pop it. And, like, it's nope. not even pus. It's, nope. like, a black thing that oh, just rises out. That's like a, so gross. Nope, yeah. nope, nope, nope. Can't do it. Yeah. No, nope. Hey, what about that one dude at the Anime Expo, though? Oh. Where all his pimples freaking combined oh, into, like, a my Megatron. God. All right, so oh. let me tell y'all. So oh, we were when we were at Anime Expo, we were walking around. And then, you know, like, you're just looking at stuff. So your eyes are automatically veering, like, everywhere. My eyes, like, went to the right. And I saw this dude. I think he was one of those dudes that dressed as, like, a schoolgirl. Because that's a big thing. dressed a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So his back was exposed. Yeah. And he had... The gnarliest volcano of a pimple. It was like a mosh pit of pimples. And then, but gathered, it like yeah. gathered together. The middle, and there was like a one. Pangea pimple yeah. in the middle. And then I saw it first and I was like, yo, Kelvin, yo, yo, I just saw the most disgusting pimple. Like, yo, if yeah. we walk ar- back around, I'm like, let you know. And we walk back around. I was like, dude, dude, dude look, look. It was but so bro, gross. That thing stared into my soul. I think watching videos like that is definitely a like, weird it's guilty pleasure. Big. Like, people who like to see. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. It's I, big. Because I yeah. hate those so much. 
don't like watching it. This is definitely one of my. I'm like still looking at different like types of lists, like vacation planning. That's a huge guilty pleasure, <laughs> bro. I'm like seriously, I get so excited to build an itinerary for girls. It's wedding planning. I thought that's like hella stressful. No, like girls, like they do it for their friends. Oh, yeah. they, like, really? Kind of wedding dress shopping is kind of weird. Yet I hear all my homegirls get stressed about planning a bachelorette. You know who you are. <laughs> I ain't dropping names. You know who you are. But you know. Just, just saying, just saying. This one, ordering the same dish at different restaurants. How is at that? different restaurants? Nah. I, you know, I ordered the same. Every pho place I go to, I ordered the same shit. I the mean, special yeah. pho with tripe and like all that okay. shit. I feel like, like, what, what do you mean, like? Very unpopular opinion. I'm not the biggest fan of pho, but go I'm not on. Either. I'm not okay. Either. It's just, have you had other noodles? Like Vietnamese noodles? Uh, no. So I don't think so. For me, pho is the one with the least amount of fish sauce. So okay. I fuck with it. The okay. other ones are hella... I don't like fish. Do you like fish sauce? Yeah. Oh, do you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, Filipinos are big, like, sauce users. Uh, we love the sauce. Yeah. Or shrimp paste. I, yeah. I, do you like that? Damn, yeah. I can't stand the smell of that Dude, shit. we have our own in uh, the Philippines, yeah. too. Oh, okay. I forgot what it's called. I'm sorry. Like, don't take away my Filipino card. But it, it's called something. Okay. So yeah. you like the really, like, pungent. Yeah. Kind of, okay. Yeah, I like 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 I like when like I get like so just smack with flavor. You love you like durian then because that that shit is pungent like. But it just looks scary. <laughs> just the outside, right? It is. The outside. What, if, what if some? Have you had those at uh, the, the frozen ones? ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I should. Could, that's like a gateway. I know, but I, I guess, I guess. <laughs> let's see, let's see here. Oh, this one I do. Uh, taking long drives with no destination. I just drive sometimes. Do you really? Yeah. I used to do that before. Before the gas prices were like six dollars. <laughs> just like on random. I think yeah. sometimes you know when I'm like absolutely not doing anything. And it's like midnight. I'm just like you know what? Yeah. Just go on a drive. Where do you usually drive to, or where have you driven to? I do this. I did this a lot. Not anymore because I work early. But I used to work out at midnight. Okay. When everyone's me gone. too during college. Yeah, yeah. And then I get out the gym like two thirty or something mm-hmm. like that, and I would just drive down like to five. Just down to five. <laughs> What end up in Stockton? Hey, what's good? Down the five south. I'm in San Diego, uh, right? So like, not not to the border, but like you know, thirty minutes. Chula down. Vista. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'll just like, all right, it's time to go back. You're like, you go to the Chula Vista, like, yeah. all right. You feel like Ryan Gosling and drive. I get. I guess <laughs> no, so. No, no, no. I just no. I just like just, it's calm, you know. Yeah, it's calming. No, I get it. Yeah. But do you play music? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think for me, ma- majority of the time, because I live in Pasadena, I just drive to downtown LA. Okay. And just drive around. Because, yeah, yeah in, on the weekdays or at nights, like, the streets are empty. Yeah. So there's no traffic. So it's very, it's super like chill. therapeutic, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like think about stuff. Uh, TikTok, I think for a lot of people, is a big guilty pleasure. Mm. I am not on TikTok at all. Our, our podcast is on TikTok. So, I, technically, I am on TikTok, no, not on not, TikTok. Not as a consumer. Yeah, yeah. The content consumer. So you're not on TikTok? Not really. Me either. Because I'm working on IG all the time. Like, yeah. There's no time to. I just don't want to invest into another social media because yeah. I think Instagram is already a lot. I think YouTube is already a lot. Yeah. And then Twitter, I just go through t- timelines. Yeah. Yeah. What about, okay. Uh, like, because we're both into shoes, do you ever just like look at shoes? Like, go on go and be like... <laughs> <laughs> That's how a lot of my purchases came about. <laughs> exactly. Like, that. like, 12... Guilty pleasure. Yeah, midnight, I'm just like, damn, this is kind of tight. <laughs> well, okay, dude, this is so interesting because I wanted to get into this. Uh, so, one of the things on the list is acting out a sexual fantasy you've always had, which I think goes into, like, sexual fetishes. Mm. And then for me, I've always thought that I don't have, like, a sexual fetish because for me, it always I always think about the extreme. So, like, BDSM foot fetish uh <laughs> like any anything like that right and then i'm not into that at all mm. right which again i'm not judging you yeah. know be what you're into this is just like my yeah. preferences so for you like do you feel like you have like i guess because i guess you know anything sexual can be deemed as a guilty pleasure do you have like any fet- fetishes or any sexual fantasies you've always had like weird ones uh no, i think in general i think yeah because you're probably thinking like hell extreme too but I think no. there's a very like normal ones oh, that I can't really. I, yeah, think of. like. Are you into feet? I'm, I'm into really vanilla stuff, you know. Me too. Like you know, amputee gangbangs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. What the hell, dude? <laughs> nah, no, no, no. When I think of extremes, I I think of like people getting tied up and pegged. Yeah. Like nah, nah, nah. nah yeah, nah, yeah. Nah, 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 
but like minor stuff uh but like I, one, one thing i do want to do is like i always want to travel abroad with a homie mm-hmm. and then like just get him drunk and then have like a big black tranny <laughs> just go in there and just no just like have fun with them a little bit you know nothing sexual just <laughs> what the hell? It's a prank, dude. Yeah. Demented, man. I, uh, there's a YouTube video of someone doing that. Really? Yeah. You never had any normal sexual <laughs> Like, Like what? Okay. I, I can't think of it. For me, okay, I know it's a federal crime. Oh, jeez. But I, I want to join the Mile High Club. Like having sex on a plane. Oh, I yeah. thought you were talking about the other federal crime. What's the other fe- federal cl- crime? Like FBI, kind of. Chris no. Hansen. No, I dude. Like, what, bro, the what the hell? No, yeah, I was about to, no. I was about to leave. I was like, no, no dude. <laughs> I guess I did, <laughs> the way I worded <laughs> yeah, it. I like, no, I want to join the Mile High Club. Uh, is it really illegal to? Yeah, it's a federal <laughs> offense. Oh, people do it on the plane all the time. Yeah, but they're in PJs. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but then every time I use the restroom on the plane, and I'm just like confined, like yeah. the restroom's like this yeah, thing, yeah, and I'm yeah. like pooping. You know, like if you're a guy and then you poop, like you can't poop with your legs like together. Yeah. It's like impossible, or it, it feels really uncomfortable. Yeah. I can't push properly. You know what's crazy though. At Coachella, they, this dude was having a threesome in the, in the stall. In the porta potties? No, in the the one the. There was one building where there was actually running water. Remember? What? It was next to the oh, Heineken. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. This dude was getting it on in there, right? You and saw it. I saw a girl and a guy come out, and I was like, oh, whatever. And then another girl came out, and I was like, what? They're, they're big. They're bigger people. Okay, like, how do you know that they? Uh, did the dance with no pants. Because he high-fived me. Oh. <laughs> he was like, yeah, yeah brother. Yeah. And I was like, oh, oh God. <laughs> hand sanitizer. Uh, hand sanitizer. Oh. So, no, I'm, I'm like uh, with SpongeBob when he, 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 he got his hand shook by... Oh, what's that one thing? And then uh, freaking Bubble Buddy cleaned it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. That was me. I was like, no, I gotta savor this. <laughs> it's like that uh, either the Surfer or Rock yeah, yeah, yeah. is like dirty or yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That was me. This is this is one that's I guess is a guilty pleasure, uh, cosplaying. It's a guilty pleasure. I feel yeah, like yeah. I feel like your level is a little bit up than mine. I'm just more like I'm down to I cosplay. I just do it so we get views. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like you've cosplayed way more. Oh, because I go to like festivals, Halloween exactly. themed ones. That's it. But the thing, okay, you went to EDC and then you dressed as Sukuna. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, but like you didn't have to do that. Everyone does it really yeah well, that, dude it's hella yeah so people actually cosplay i thought people would just wear their you know their cargo shorts unbuttoned oh no 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 and then the bandana no, the hell of people like if you walk into a stage mm-hmm. you probably have like 50 people in akatsuki gear yeah but the fact that you indulge in that means that you're you have some level of enjoyment so, so here, here, so, no 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 here, here's here's the thing right so for me i just like to recycle halloween costumes because i don't want to buy shit for raves yeah, and then you... So you, you I wear the same X, five things. You pay X amount, you know, you want to get your money's worth. Right? Yeah, exactly. Like your exactly. Superman. Costume. Exactly, yeah, yep. Yeah. That was $75. So I, just, I just recycle the same crap over and over again. Okay, what's your same crap over and over again then that you cosplay? Um, It's usually like for festivals, right? Yeah. I just put on the uh, the Minato robe. It's easy. Oh, okay. And then you could, and then you could take it off. Yeah, yeah. Sukuna do you, was do you wear regular the, the, clothes? You know the only reason I did the Sukuna thing was to test it out for you? Really? Yeah. Oh, for to the con, and then that dude, that tattoo, it, yeah. it melted immediately. Dude, the tattoo thing that he gave me like was not the shit. Like, no. I didn't like it at all. No. Hey, but shout out to my homegirl and her mom for spending four hours doing my like airbrush job. Yeah. It turned out pretty good, even though like her mom kept clowning me because I was so ticklish, <laughs> dude. Because you're like, be tough. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. All right, let's let's find another one that's like super interesting. Listen to crime podcast. I do that. True crime. Oh, podcast. yeah. Uh, I don't listen, but I enjoy uh, true crime documentaries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, w- uh, what's a recent uh, true crime, or what's your one of your favorites that you've indulged in? Um, that girl who fell into the water tower in Hollywood. Cecil Eliza. Hotel. Cecil, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eliza yeah. Lamb. Yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna talk about that in a future episode closer Dude, to Halloween. Know, that- I that I story watch, is crazy. I watch scary movies all like nothing really phases me. That Algie? elevator video creeped me out. Like for the first time in years, I was no. like, dude, that she was it's like sus. I was like, what? The? It's crazy. Yeah, dude, it's because it you was, don't know yeah. what she's doing, right? Like, what does she yeah. see? Like exactly, yeah. and she kept going in it, uh, in and, and out. Yeah. Again, we're gonna we're going to talk about this in a future episode yeah. closer to Halloween. Yeah. You know, spoilers. It'll be episode sixteen. Yeah. That's when we'll talk about it. So please. 
like and subscribe yeah. you know keep up with us new episode every wednesday you already know yeah, yeah uh, but that video hit me hit my brain centers and some because you know i live with a ghost so yeah. like I'm, I'm cool with all that stuff right but okay that video was we'll talk about it later. you never like try to adapt the ghost like hey what's good i can't move yeah <laughs> okay let me ask yeah. you this about the ghost like no no actually no, 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 i, I, I want to save yeah. it i want to save it yeah. because i do have a question about about this this ghost you know okay this is a very big guilty pleasure. I think this is uh this contributes to a very like motivated mindset, but uh constantly organizing your things. Or cleaning. Uh, Do you find cleaning like enjoyable? No. Really? No. I actually enjoy cleaning. What why don't you clean your turtle's tank? Hey. <laughs> I clean it every 3 to 4 days. All right. The reason why he's saying this is because I don't have a uh, water filter. Oh, you have one. I have one. <laughs> I'm lazy to said, okay, my current tank doesn't have a water filter. I have a separate tank that I'm very lazy right now to set up because, okay, it's, yeah, think about it. The current tank is 10 gallons. The new one's 30. <laughs> that's, but that's not, that's volumetric. That's nothing. That's just like a little bit taller. Yeah, but it's a lot of water. <laughs> I'm just, right. I'll get to it, all right? So I clean my turtle's tank every, like, three to four days because, yeah, like, the water builds up. They can't see. Yeah, it's by, like, the third day. <laughs> yeah. So it's fine. It's fine. Hey, but I clean it, like, very regular. That's cool. I actually cleaned it yesterday, jackass. Like, <laughs> why are you hating? It's animal abuse, right? But anyways, <laughs> I think, like, I think keeping things organized, uh, like, you know, creates a healthy mindset. And for me, at least, like, when things are organized and it's clean, I'm more motivated to be focused with work. Okay. Yeah. You're not like that? Uh, my desk is pretty neat. Okay. But, like, like I don't, I know some people who procrastinate. Like, they right. will, like, not do it. Then they will, like, oh, I got to vacuum the house right now. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't do that. Procrastination is also a guilty pleasure. Yeah. Do you procrastinate sometimes? I'm guilty of that. I have an OCD about completing tasks. So oh. I think of work as a checklist. And yeah, I'd rather yeah. knock it all out and then do what I want to do okay. rather than, like, daily down do you create a daily list like yeah. things to do yeah. i do that too yeah because i i gotta keep organized man no that's true see organization man creates healthy mindset but i didn't used to do that when i was in school yeah me but either. when money matters then exactly again because if we don't work <laughs> no, get paid. no money and no japan no japan <laughs> <laughs> that is true that's true uh let's see let's see watching unboxing videos on youtube i do that for shoes <laughs> I do it for shoes and clothes only because I, I want to see yeah, yeah, the sizing and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, I want to see how Especially it looks. The sizing. Yeah. yeah, and I like it when a YouTuber says like how tall they are and then how much they weigh. And it then never you, matches me. It never does. Yeah. But then like you could kind of gauge, yeah. right? Like if someone like, oh, yeah, this is a large. I'm like, all right, XL. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's just true. like that. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is hell of me because this goes into uh, online shopping. Putting things in an online cart and then never purchasing <laughs> I'm hella like that. You have tabs, right? I have hella tabs, right? I'm a 20 tab, like, <laughs> constantly browser, dude. Like, always. They just get you, like, the, the Instagram ads. You're like, oh, that's kind of Always tight. gets me. <laughs> always gets me. Instagram ads are my guilty pleasure. Because they look dope. They just know what I like. I was like, yo, these pants look fire. <laughs> Let me <laughs> click it. And I give them the freaking analytic ping. I'm like, oh, man, I just fed into that. <laughs> I gave them that algorithm. No, like, no. So, uh, let's say I don't have something specific that I want in my wardrobe. So, I go into, let's say, a brand that provides almost with anything. So, like, Minimal is one. Real to K is one. Like, or go on ASOS or, uh, like, it's, it's Essence, but I say it's Essence. Yeah. So, those type of websites. Like, if I don't have a clear agenda of what I want, a lot of times I'll peruse the website. And then whatever I like, I just put it in my cart. Mm, all the way so i stack up like two grand worth of stuff and i like look at it and i'm just like what do i really want and then i start play game of elimination oh, okay. yeah, yeah so that's what i do and then i really think about if i really want it so a lot of times i do the three-day rule where i'll keep the tab open with shit in my cart and be like after three days like if i still want it all right cool they email you though they're like hey you left something in your cart. i know <laughs> they and, do it like and, and you know what they're like hey here's 10 percent. you're like done <laughs> I done. done. It's like no taxes. Yeah, All done. right, say done. less. <laughs> say less. All right, let, let's name, let's name one more good uh, guilty pleasure. Let's see what what ChatGPT said. See, a lot of these are yeah are 
Very They're generic. Like very no- well, well, just one from you. One more that you have a name that you do on a regular basis. Oh, yeah. let me let me boring, think. Man. Yeah, yeah, good. like a regular guilty pleasure that I like. To Other do. than masturbation, I don't even do that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Out of sheer laziness, <laughs> dude. I could I could go into this man. Like you know how like a lot of times if you like ma- like masturbate like it's like usually like kind of before you sleep or something right. So if I'm working all day and then you know I'm also editing. Yeah. You know, I exert, like, a lot of, like, energy, yeah. especially if I work out that day. So, like, the thought of, like, having to search for a video and then, like, pulling my pants down, I'm just like, no, nah, I'm just going to go to sleep. Work, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go to sleep. Like, if you can't even commit to a Netflix series, like, imagine all the extra work you have <laughs> exactly. to, to jack To find out, like, that right nah, video. <laughs> hell no. Like, just go to bed. Man. Exactly. What about you? Like, uh, let me think of one. Like, if you have one to say, I, like, a personal guilty I, pleasure. I scroll IG on the toilet for hours. For hours? So yeah. you get lost in the sauce with it? Yeah. Okay. Like, what would you say is your, like, top three things you like to see? Because I guess for me, it's YouTube. Mm. You know? Like, what are the top three, three things you like to see on, like, IG, Twitter? Oh, on Instagram? Yeah. Half Asian girls racing cars in japan okay <laughs> no, you're not kidding but it's okay kidding. it's okay it's okay what uh, else no like cars cars okay um do you consider yourself a car guy are you like hell into that i don't i don't mod cars but i like the jdm okay so, yeah okay cars um cooking those quick mm. cooking videos i think cooking stuff is cool That's but i think cool. some stuff is like kind of corny i like the yeah i like the i don't like the asmr crap actually you know what i do like i like any like facts type post so whether it's like uh did you know this about the movie or oh. any like random fact about the universe and stuff or anything Just space related like i love space, space stuff yeah cool i love space exploration <laughs> i don't know if i would do it because like it intimidates me greatly but you know but if i can go to the international space station i would i would i hella would <laughs> yeah and then that's when i'll masturbate <laughs> in space next to all your crewmates like, oh. no no i'll be in my <laughs> private quarters because i want to theoretically be upside down and oh then my do it because there's no there's no way of direction in space <laughs> what, <laughs> what else? That, that's yeah that's on my on the honestly on, let me try to explore why do you think of it it's just cars and I don't oh know you know i have a lot of like uh mma stuff on there really it's like fight stuff so you do watch sports I do. So MMA. MMA, that's it. Yeah. That's a guilty pleasure, man. For me, okay. Actually, I watch a lot of skating. Like, okay. I'd rather watch skating more than anything. Like, I don't like watching fitness stuff. Oh, that's yeah. like it's my corny, that's bottom bro, yeah. bottom tier. I don't watch any fitness stuff. Like, I enjoy watching skating. Every time, like, a new skate video drops or, like, Insta clip, I'm like, this is tight. Especially when it comes from, from homies. Yeah. I'm like, that's tight. You know, I get hella hyped. So it's cool. But, all right, so that concludes uh, episode 14 of Short King's Talk. We hope you enjoy this. And if you made it this far to the end, we uh, we like to thank you, you know. we like to thank you uh, for your support. And if you can, if you haven't yet, subscribe to that YouTube, like the video, and then share. follow us. Yeah, share it. Tell people about us. And comment your guilty pleasure. Yeah. And we'll see what you are. You know what your gu- guilty pleasure should be? It should be watching this podcast. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> But follow us on all social media platforms at Short Kings Talk Everything. Links in the description below. You got any final words? Uh, stick around for the next episode. New episodes every Wednesday. <laughs> yeah.